Alright y'all, this next video is a warm up drill and it is pretty much uh, something that takes maybe three minutes tops and it's good for doing before every practice session or before every fight because one it's good for the forearms and building up the type of strength that you'll oftentimes discover by surprise that you need for one handed weapons. Um, and two, it's also good for the shoulders because if you're anything like me and you have really shoddy shoulders, um, shoulders heal very poorly because they're packed with cartilage which does not get good blood flow. So this will prevent shoulder injuries. Um, the first drill is pretty much swinging the sword by the pommel counterclockwise and clockwise for both arms, uh, which is good for brandishing at peasants if you're out on the street or for warming up before a fight. And then the next two are warm-ups for saber work that uh, Matt Easton from Scala Gladiatoria came up with and I really liked it, so I, I incorporated it into what I do. Starting off with the sword swinging, just grab the sword by the pommel as if you're gonna schlauder or sling at your opponent. And you start off with one arm and you just stand taut and swing. Four, I do 20 each side. I'm just gonna do 10 for this video. Seven, eight, nine. When you're done, keep it going in that same circle. Just swap over to the other hands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. When you're done, other side. Same thing. Keep the circles wide, but don't strain your arms. Eight, nine, 10. Also, don't throw your sword because that's just generally not good for the sword or for peasants. 7, 8, 9, 10. So, that one's good for loosening up the shoulders and it pretty much works out front, middle, and rear delts. So, it's very good for that. Then, moving on to things that are good for the wrists and the forearms, it stabilizes and tightens up those muscle groups and uh, it warms them up appropriately and it also builds up the muscle strength. So we're gonna start off first grabbing your sword in standard fashion and you're pretty much going to be doing this. This is one unit. One, two, and you want to do so such that the kreutz or the cross guard is able to travel past your wrist. Because um, otherwise if you do it just like this it's gonna hit your wrist and you're not gonna get that full range of motion. So make it go past your wrist. I do 20 or 30 of those, and it's gonna go like one, two, three, four, I'll do 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You're really gonna feel the strain right here on this muscle group. Next arm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. When you're done with that, you're gonna move on to the next one, which is gonna work the entire forearm itself, and it's gonna work as well the brachio radialis, which is this muscle group that travels from forearm up into the bicep. You're going to grab the sword in a standard thumb grip as if you're gonna do a krumpau or a zvir, and you're gonna hold it in front of you like this. One unit is gonna look like this. You're going to keep your elbow right up against your rib cage as you do it, and you're only focusing on twisting like this. Your thumb is gonna catch your blade in this motion and your hand and your forearm are gonna catch the blade in this motion. So I do 20 or 30 and it's gonna look like this, going up to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to find that warming up these muscle groups, you don't even need to stretch before your warm up too much, but warming up these muscle groups is important for making sure that when you go into your fight, you don't screw up your body, which is precious. And if you're anything like me and your body is fragile, you really need to protect it. So have fun, cheers, and I hope you don't get hurt.